Santa. Okay, so we have one more. We have one more free time event. Ooh, should we go? Hmm. Should we go for Himiko again, or... See, the thing with this is, if I pick the wrong one, and they, and they die... Yeah, no, that is just straight up, like, avisi baddies. Like, Christ. If I pick the wrong one, and they die immediately... Then... Mm. Alright, fuck it, we're gonna go for Himiko again, and I'm just gonna hope that she lives long enough for me to fill out... Fill out her report card. Okay, uh... Tenko's over there, where, where, where is Himiko? Nico. Okay, she is in the lunch room. And I, 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 I need to, I need to get that uh, list of gifts again. Yeah, you know, I'll just pull that up right now while I'm here. Uh, dang, dang, wrong, um, three. Gift guide. Aha! Here it is. Okay. Just leave that up on the other screen. Hey, Michael! Yeah. Uh, you had some of my magic power to cheer you up. Give me some of that cocaine! <laughs> She's been... She, Himiko is... Himiko is just like Sherlock Holmes. If there's not like a... a case... or something going on, she needs a, like an actual metric ton of cocaine to just stay awake. And even then... I politely declined the magic hammer. I'd like give Himiko a present. Yes! Okay, so... So, 48, which I'm pretty sure we already gave her. No, we didn't. Okay, so I don't have 48. 54 I already gave. 66. Oh! Oh, she likes the pigeons! She likes the pigeons. Oh, that's adorable. Give her pigeon food. Oh, oh, oh yes, but I need it. Oh. No, not bad. It's pretty more stuff to increase my magic stat. Yeah. You're the same as ever, Himiko. This is normal for me. If you don't like it, talk to someone else. It's not that I don't like it, it's just well, I'm worried about your well-being. Why? There's no need to worry. Actually, why are you paying so much attention to me anyway? Yeah, I just worry about you for some reason. It's like you have narcolepsy. I don't trust you around heavy machinery. What was that? For some reason. Are you? Are you play for the other team? Um. The other team? What do you mean like that? Are you clam diving? No. If you don't get it, that means you probably aren't. Huh? Now, now I want to know. Oh, oh, you pure bean. You pure innocent bean. What a pain. Don't worry about it. Explaining is a play. <laughs> I think I heard you say the word pain enough times to last a lifetime. So if you're not playing for that team, don't 
I see. You thought I'd be an easy target. Huh? An easy target? I don't get that either. Popular girls like you? No. Bitch! Again, fine. If you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Anyway, do you bother? Why do you bother me so much? Is it because you're the ultimate magician? I'm not a magician. <sighs> oh, fuck! That one was real. <laughs> I'm the ultimate mage. Uh, oh yes, yeah, I hear that. Shit. Yes, my magic has brought smiles to many children. You know. Oh, I get it. I know you bother me so much, Himiko. You. Are you rage too? You know? Uh, you mind about putting smiles on people's faces, right? I feel the same way. Seeing smiles on everyone's faces after my performances are so much fun. Don't you feel the same way, Himiko? Mm. Yeah. When I see children smiling because of my magic, it, it makes me happy. It's fun. We are very similar in that sense, so I was concerned about you. We're alike. We're not alike at all, bitch. Our idea of happiness and enjoyment is the same, like our, our talents fit that role. Aside from our personality, I think we're more similar than you think. Who knows? Is that so? I, I don't really get it. Himiko shook her head, but I could see the tr truth on her face, clear as day. We're probably alike. In the same way I want to escape this place so I can make people smile, you want to perform your tricks in front of those kids, huh? I mean, you want to perform your magic and make those kids smile, right? Mm. I can't let my magic waste away here. You disgrace my title of ultimate name. Whoa, spooky. Yeah, that's right. Right, and that's what you get to escape from this place. That sounds like your pain, so I'll leave that to you. Huh? But you're supposed to say, let's work together, too! So Himiko sure likes to go at her own pace. That pace being coma patient. So it feels like we come a lot closer and a lot more about each other now. Yay, friendship! Himiko's report card has been updated based on your experience. Hooray! The parting ways with Himiko, I return to my room. Ding dong, your opinion is wrong. I know this is supposed to be endearing, but this is just dumb. I can see Mona Kid had a little too much honey. He is really happy about Daddy's return. Let's play darts. Mona Dam can be the dartboard. Mona Dam can be the ball. Yeah, but. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Oh, Jesus. Can these guys just die, please? Can they all be killed off? At this rate, the time will be expired before we know it. Oh shit, someone's gonna get a murder going. I won't give up. So I wanna see everyone smiles just a little longer. I wanna spend time with them, laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So I won't give up. Well, well, I guess Cade's gonna die soon. Hey, he's got Celeste on a playing card. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. But you can't give her any present. It's gotta be a present suited to her tastes. It's gotta be a handmade present, too. It looks like you put thought into it. For example, the kind of lady who's a strong man who'd love a handmade pro wrestling group. She'll all being surrounded by macho dudes, and you'll make money off the wrestlers, too. If enough wrestlers get popular, it might be good to host a big event. After they're done beating up each other, they can fight over other pro wrestling groups. Just give it a shot, and I promise you'll win her heart. Hmm, I don't think that's how that works there, my dude. Rise and shine, Ursa! This is an announcement! It is now 8 a.m. Ah. 10 p.m. tomorrow night. 
Okay, so we have one more day, or two more days even, because the date just started. Uh. Open the door just like someone's just got a gun. Too bad it's me! Ha! Ah, your day is ruined. It turns my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. But it hurts so good all the same. What do you want? I think I come let you know some of the research labs are open. I mean the ultimate research lab? Those classrooms tailored to our 16 talents? Uh-huh, your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Now go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody. Well, also the betting that that's where she dies. These rooms are in. These rooms are set up so that like they're perfect death rooms for the people whose talents they are. Like she'll just like be playing the piano and just like a noose will come down and just and just die. I slammed the door in Monokuma's face with all my might. Jeez, that was super annoying. Jeez. Is it is this one Shuichi? Ah, I'm sorry, should I come back later? Ah, oh, Shuichi, sorry, just ignore what I just said. Um, I wanna to talk to you too, Shuichi. I was wondering if you needed anything for the plan. Uh, um, That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I might know how to keep watching the library. Were you planning on hiding inside the library and keeping watch from there? If we did that, we'd miss the risk of the mastermind running into us. I'd be safer to watch from further away. Hmm. We also need hard evidence to convince everyone of the mastermind's identity. So I thought it might be a good idea to set up cameras. Cameras? Okay. I found some cameras with security sensors in the warehouse. With some modification, we could combine the two and have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. If you set up a few in the library, we can capture proof of the mastermind. We don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we're less likely to get caught. But... If you... But when the mastermind goes into the library, it'll be to turn on the murder machines. It wouldn't be too late at that point. I see. That's... Mm -hmm. but... but what if Miu is the mastermind? We know that we're not the mastermind, and we know that he's not the mastermind, but what if Miu is? Uh, I mean, she is... is that I mean, right? she is blonde, and she is, you know... She is, uh, you know, like, totally, like, oh my god, betch. Like, you know, which is kind of like how Junko was. I mean, for all we know, that's Junko wearing the disguise. Even though that'd be a little smart for Junko. She might be the mastermind. Like, oh my god, betch. Like, oh my god. I can't believe it, like, oh my god. Alright, where is she? Okay, she is in the dining room. And I can't just fast travel there, so I have to go through the long way. Like, oh my god. Okay, so I probably could should talk to some of these people, but... I'm just gonna, like, just try and get there as quick as I can, unless I see someone... Nope. Not speaking to the Komeda, the Komeda replacement. If someone's on the way and they're interesting enough, I'll talk to them. The ultimate lifeborn, Shadow the Hedgehog. Morning, Shadow. Good morning, Cage Shuichi. Have you come for breakfast? If so, Kurumi said she'd make anything if you asked. Why not just do that? So I'd feel bad if I made her serve me. I had the same thought, so I declined. But it seemed to only make her more restless. I left her on her own. If left on her own, I'm guessing she would prefer enough food for everyone regardless. I see. Karumi really does like taking care of people. <laughs> it's not something you could describe in simple language. Her devotion to her duties as a maid is incredibly impressive. Despite knowing her end may come tomorrow, she does not so much as flinch. Oh god, I know I'm doing the wrong voice. I know. Shadow the Hedgehog. This too is beautiful. 
personality, poise, even in the face of certain looming death. <laughs> it's exactly what I surmised. I can surmise Yakashi Mash. <laughs> what the fuck? I oh god. Bear wit I can bear witness the beauty of humanity here. <laughs> um. uh, okay, Mr. Gipman, I'm gonna head off. Ah, oh, fucking freakazoid, Jesus. And just gonna walk right past you. Hate her so much. I hope she's a murderer so I can put her to death. Miu is sitting down, looking her usual haughty self. Seems like she's alone. Guess like how she'll die, alone. Morning, Miu. What the fuck? Like, well, if it isn't, like, flat-chested Cade. Like, what do you and your pathetic titties want? Bitch. I'll just pretend I... I didn't hear that. Oh, no. Um, I have a small favor to ask of you, Miu. Uh, right, Chuichi? You're right. Yeah, actually, there's something we want you to make. We found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse, and, uh... You can make cameras to detect movement and take pictures. As in, it would automatically take a picture if the motion detector senses something. Huh? Like, the hell you're gonna use that for? Uh, uh, to keep Monokuma under surveillance, we might learn important information. Yeah, yeah exactly that. Please, Mew, we need your help to get everyone out of here. Oh, I like, okay, I get it now. Bitch. My answer is no, bitch! Huh? What? Like, you plebs got a lot of nerve asking me for a favor. Like, oh my god. Like, oh my god, Becky. <laughs> like, were you grubs in a past life? Like, is that what you don't understand? Like, basic human courtesy? What? All, like, like, I'll forgive you just this once. Now, like, get out of here before I whip out the bug spray. What? Well, she's just so unapologetically a bitch. Like, I know she's a cunt. I know I'm, like, I, she's designed for me to hate her, but I unironically love this as a, like, not as a person, but as a character and a fucking storytelling device. She's just a bitch, and she knows it, and she loves it. Without thinking, my body moved on its own! Not what I was expecting, not gonna lie. I was- I was expecting, like, her to- I was expecting Miu to catch some hands. I really want to get out of here with everyone. And to do that, I need your help. So... Please. I'm begging you. Kaede. Ah, the pronunciation, it hurts me. Why? That, that, that can't be how the name is actually pronounced, right? Please, girl, I suck your dick. I'm begging you too. We could really use your help, Mew. Please. I suck your dick, man. Come on. What the hell? Quit bowing to me. No, I won't stop. Oh, does this does this show of respect and deference bug you? Well, I'm gonna keep doing it until you do it, bitch. I'm gonna stay like this until you say you'll do it, Mew. I'll do it for however long it takes. Or until we all die. Who the hell uses bowing as a threat? It seems to be working against someone who's scared of deference. Fine. I'll do it. Okay. What? Really? I grasped Miyu's hand. Wow, she really does hate personal contact and shows of and shows of affection. Damn, son. Like I'm not doing it for you guys. Like ba 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 baka. Like my research lab in the garden just opened up, so like I was already thinking about checking it out. So like, can I have my hand back now? Cause like this is starting to like creep me out. Like oh my god. Oh sorry, I was just so happy. But your hand's always this clammy. Like, I can feel it through your gloves. That's weird. But, like, anyway, like, bring me the security sensors and cameras, like, before I change my mind. Like, oh my god. Like, I'll be waiting for my, re my research lab in the garden. Bitch. 
Mew wobbled out of the dining hall as if she'd been thrown off a balance. Thank God, I'm glad we managed to convince her. Let's go to the warehouse and get those hammers and sensors right away. We get there and they've been destroyed. Because nothing is ever this easy. Hang on, I gotta go gambling! Fuck! Uh, where's the warehouse again? I walked right past it. Yeah, I did. I walked right fucking past it. But that doesn't look like- that doesn't look like a box to me. It looks like a freaking router. Holy shit. Alright, Shuichi, where, where are they? That's... Don't worry, I know where the cameras and sensors are. I'll go get them, you can wait here. Are you sure? And they're gone. And they're gone, I'm waiting for it. Like, I mean... Like, am I actually waiting for him, or...? Are these iron balls? They sure look like they're for shot put. Pick some up to see if it was heavy as it looked, and it was. The athletes who have to hurl these things are pretty impressive. Hmm. Cade, what are you doing? Oh, ah, uh, Shuichi, turn already? Okay. Yeah, I've got the cameras. I think sh three should be enough. Huh? Disposable cameras? Would these work? They're all they had, but they work, so it should be fine. Don't you need to take the take disposable cameras to a develop to like a to a de, like a Kodak like a development thing? Like I, I remember like these disposable cameras I had like when I was a kid, like and I had to go on like a school trip or something. Like, you get them like five dollars a woman, you got to bring them back to the photo center. Okay, good. They did account for that. Well, if you're fine with them, yeah, these cameras should be okay. There's a security sensor. When this sensor picks up movement, it triggers the receiver to make a sound. We should get three of these as well. It's huge this warehouse. I didn't expect that I'd actually have security sensors in stock. Oh, do you want me to carry the cameras? I put them in my backpack. I only have music sheets and a spare vest. So there's lots of room inside. Alright, let's go talk to Miu. Will these cameras really work? If we take pictures of the mastermind and persuade everyone, what we do after that? The mastermind could just smirk and order the excisals to attack everyone. Can we really protect everyone with this plan? Can we really escape this place? Hmm. Okay, is something wrong? We need to go for Mew changes her mind. I mean, I'm honestly, there's already a hole in this plan. Like, but like they have to develop these these photos. But but then the when the mastermind goes into the library, it's going to be to turn on the monokumas. So it's like. Like, so you gotta go in, after they've gone to activate the Monokumas, like, develop the photo, show them off, all before the Monokumas get released. And even then, like, that doesn't really... That doesn't solve the problem of how to get out. I see. Hmm. Well. Seriously, man, like, there's, there, there's some really big holes in this plan. Like, hmm, like, like, the problem, like, drive a, drive a truck through the hole level. Okay, so it's all the way at the end. Like, for real, man, you could, like, you could straight, you could drive a, like, a 18-wheeler through the friggin' holes in this plan. I mean, I, I get it's the only plan they got, but I mean... I mean, you know, like, more than one pass at the planning would probably be worth doing, you know? Damn, son. I guess Miu's sticking around if this is what they give her, then. 
Like, you're fucking late. Like, how dare you waste precious seconds of my time? Uh, looks like she's back to normal. Well, like, don't keep my golden brain waiting. Like, give me what you got, bitch. Okay, it's just these, but... I think I got the three cameras in my backpack. I handed them to me. What was that? <laughs> okay, dispose- like, disposable cameras? Mm. Are disposable cameras too difficult to modify? Huh? Like, do you ask bird watchers if they know how to gawk it like dumbass birds? Of course I can do it, like piece of cake. Then... And here are the security sensors. Oh, I... So like, you want me to- yeah, you want me to use these sensors to make the cameras like take pictures automatically, right? I was thinking the camera should be triggered by the security sensor. As in, the sensor detects movement, then the receiver goes off and the shutter activates. It's like how I'd like it to work, if possible. If I heard that, I whispered in Shuichi's ear. Um, what are you gonna use that for? That's... I'm gonna set it upon the moving bookcase. That way we can keep watch from anywhere as long as we have the receiver with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? And the camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You mother... Really? It's just gonna cut her off on that? Really? Like, hey, like, what are you two whispering about? Like, oh my god. No. Nothing. Is that all right? I wrote down the details here. Like, two cameras with built-in security sensors that will, like, take photos automatically. And, like, a third camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo. Sure. Like, how soon do you need these? Uh, uh, Could you make them by tomorrow morning? Uh... It wouldn't... It wouldn't let me go full with that for a minute. Like, of course I can. Like, you could tie me up and drip hot wax on me, and, like, I'd still finish it in time. In fact, it might actually make it go faster. <laughs> like, um... Mm. With that bold declaration, you slammed the door in our faces. Did she just reveal some of her kinks to us? Anyway, I think that will do it. I think we just have to wait for Mew to finish. And finish she shall. Okay, what's wrong? No. Nothing. I just know how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Shuichi. Huh? What? You know? Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you would be that reliable. <laughs> but look but look at me now, relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes or something. Okay. Yeah. We went our separate ways and returned to our rooms. The time limit expires at night time tomorrow. Today's my last chance to roam around. Make sure I don't forget anything too important. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well I guess we'll just keep going with Himiko, right? I mean, what do we got for gifts? So Himiko... 72... 69... Which I don't have. Uh, 72... I don't have. 81. Don't have. But there's also stuff that she likes. She likes it. She's not her favorite, but she likes it. So. 3, 4, 7. Damn it. 9. Hey, I do have 9. I do have 9. Good. Oh, shit. And she's, like, directly outside, so, let's go. So, I should still progress her thing, it's just gonna just not be optimal. I mean, honestly, like, the favorites is more for free roam, right? Oh, not free roam, yeah, like, the free roam mode at the end once I beat the game. Oh god, she's out here somewhere. Fuck, um... No, that's Gonta. Um, it's like she's somewhere like near the dormitory, but it, like is she in her room? I'm not seeing. Hmm. Uh, Himiko. Oh, wait. Might she actually? No. Yeah, let's just try our door. There she is! 
Yeah. I'm tired from talking to Teko. Do I spend time with? Yes. She's very sleepy. I spent time with Himiko, who stayed quiet due to her exhaustion. Himiko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Himiko a present? Yes. Tell me your secrets, little wizard. You. You must have a fine Himiko a good gift spell. Oh. Oh, I'm done. I don't mind you giving me more stuff from now on. Hmm. No? Nothing? Okay, so it has to be a favorite. Well, shit. I mean, unless it just, like, takes two goods to get a... G you know what? Fuck it. Let's see, what, what else do I have that she likes? Damn, I got it, so I, I've got to find more mono coins. I've got to find more fucking mono coins to. Ah! Let's see. Um. Nine. Thirteen. Okay, so she likes the apples. She likes the bunny apples. <laughs>